They talked a little bit about the Apple Watch. It, I don't know. It wasn't that interesting to me that you're sharing watch faces. You're passing. I was, like, I was like, what do we do? Now we're, I'm like, yo, Will, check out this watch face. But they made it seem like there's a whole social component to it. Yeah. That people, Apple Watch enthusiasts, and maybe it's true. I don't know because I never got into it. That they would want to pass around watch faces and custom configure them for each other or socialize around the idea. There's got to be some degree of Apple Watch enthusiasm out there because it is the far and away most popular smartwatch. And then, of course, the thing you're pointing at right now, which is very timely. And this is, I mean, you got to commend Apple on this to roll that out that rapidly. The hand washing feature. The timer, yeah. The watch will understand that you're watching your washing your hands watching washing your hands with a watch on which i hate doing by the way i wear a watch but i'm always trying to keep it out of the water yeah. when i'm washing the hands yeah. even though it's water resistant but anyway maybe you shouldn't maybe you give a give a quick rinse to the watch i don't know mm. what the rules are on this mm. i'm sure there are many opinions out there no shortage of those mm. <laughs> but in this case the watch Figures out, based on your movements, that you're washing your hands. And a countdown starts on it to make sure you do the happy birthday thing. You wash it for whatever it is, 12 seconds. And you get a nice little buzz and reward. I washed my hands. I feel great about myself. Mm. I hit the number. I win the video game. These hands are clean for the next five minutes. You get a sticker from that. Until I touch my disgusting iPhone. Yeah. Which point, they're not clean at all anymore. Yeah. So that's how that goes. But anyway, it's kind of a... It's a cool, it's a timely thing that took place there. Uh, they talked a little bit about fitness, so they changed the name of the app. I mentioned that earlier. It used to be Activity. Now it's going to be called Fitness, and uh, they're going to be able to track. That was maybe my favorite part, when a woman just busts out dancing. Maybe you can find it in the keynote, mm. because they said, okay, now we're going we're gonna to show off a new feature. We can track activity based on the type of dancing you're doing. And I didn't expect her, maybe there was someone else who was going to dance, but she was presenting. So I didn't expect her to just start dancing. And it caught me right off guard. And she starts uh, throwing a few moves at us. And I look at Willie Do while it's all happening, and he doesn't know what to do about it. I was very shocked. He was more shocked than I was. And then I said, you know what? Go for it. Maybe a little bit more dancing. It's going to solve uh, all the problems. Mm -hmm. Probably not. Anyway, you can't find it, no, the maniac. Okay. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, you might be close. It's in there. Willie Doo's going to find it. I'm going to move on to the next thing.